Hello and welcome back to ITN Global, your favorite source of motivation and daily inspiration to break outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, baby! Now, what is the key to effortlessly improving your life? You know, I made a lot of videos about life-changing habits, tips you can implement to change your life, but what is the true secrets to effortlessly improve your life? In I don't know. In this video, we're gonna find out exactly what those three secrets are. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe down below, and let's go. So the first thing we need to consider when trying to effortlessly improve our life is what something I like to call the vision. And the vision is all about the power of manifestation, manifesting your dream life in your imagination. Because if you can't, you know, build your dream life in your imagination, you'll never be able to build it in reality. And, you know, one of my favorite role models, Arnold Schwarzenegger, actually used this principle. He said that he used to, you know, have a vision of himself on the Olympia stage, flexing with hundreds of people yelling his name. This is a prime example of the power of manifestation and look where he is today. So clearly he had a point with his whole manifestation thing. Yeah, baby. But the key is that, you know, if you can't envision something, if you can't imagine your dream life, you won't be able to achieve it in reality. And that is why the vision is an essential part to effortlessly improve your life. Now, in, this does take some practice and what I recommend you do is um, meditation, right? Meditation for maybe five to 10 minutes each morning and five to 10 minutes before you retire to bed. This will allow you to calm your mind and you'll notice that as you progress, you'll be able to meditate for longer periods of time. You'll be able to control your thoughts better in the long run. But meditation is one of the primary ways it, it helped me and it can also help you envision your dream life because without that vision, you can't turn your dreams into something tangible and you'll never be able to build your dream life in reality. Accompanying our vision of our dream lives, there has to be the plan. What are you going to do in order to turn that dream into reality? For example, let's say you want to start an online e-commerce business. First of all, you need to decide what products you're going to sell? What is going to be your target audience? What, who's your supplier going to be? What's your pricing going to be like? This is all part of the plan. And the plan is so, so essential because without the plan, your dream and your vision is basically directionless, right? Think of it, think of it as, as energy, right? Energy in a concentrated, you know, uh, a stream provides us with electricity. However, energy when it's dispersed randomly, that's just heat that's pretty much useless, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing a little bit of chemistry into this, shoot me. A few hours later. But anyway, the key is to direct all of that energy and that whole vision into a plan of action. Because, you know, as I said, the, what's the point of you having this vision of this big e-commerce company or this, this coffee shop, this bakery, whatever it is you're pursuing, and you don't know how to get there? You don't have a business plan, you don't have a target audience, you don't have uh, steps you're gonna take to finance the business. So what is the point then? Absolutely nothing. So make sure that you have a plan of action and I recommend you know, having that plan of action on a piece of paper. I always, always say this with everything, even when it comes to habits, put it on paper because if you can you know, physically read it and be reminded of it every single day, that's all you're gonna think about. That's all you're gonna wanna do. And in a sense, it keeps you disciplined and it keeps you on track to fulfill that plan exactly. So accompanying our vision of our dream life, there has to be a plan. There has to be some sort of plan. And even if you plan in your head for a first while, but please put it on paper and put it somewhere where you can see it. And the other thing is that you need to get you know, constructive opinions about that plan. You need to be going to your business partner and saying, listen, this is my plan. Do you think this is gonna work? Because, you know, some things you might come up with might not work and might be wrong in the end. It's always good to have constructive opinions, but we've covered the vision, we've covered the plan. Let's move on to the last key. So we've established our vision. We've established our plan of action. Now, most importantly, the last key is the execution. We have this plan. Are we going to have the discipline to follow this plan to the T or are we, are we gonna deviate from that? And this is where motivation, discipline, 
and consistency and also time management come into play because you can have the base plan on paper you can have the base business idea on paper you can have the base vision in your head but do you have the discipline to execute that plan in order to make your dream become a reality that is where most people fail they fail to stay disciplined they fail to be consist uh, consistent and i don't like the word motivation no i don't like the word motivated because motivation fades you're going to wake up days and you're going to want to stay in bed not do anything not work towards that dream but guess what nothing is going to be done your dream is going to stay a dream forever if you have that attitude so have the discipline to you know get up consistently put some work in i'm not saying work all day give yourself a break every now and then but have the discipline and have the consistency to execute that plan. And I'm not saying make adjust, don't make adjustments to the plan. Of course, adjust the plan when you need it. But the primary thing with the execution stage is discipline, consistency, and also innovation, right? If something doesn't work, you change it, you adapt it. So three keys to effortlessly improve your life. Now, these are very broad keys. These are very broad tips. There's a lot more that goes into each one, but this at least gives you a framework of how you can effortlessly improve your life. If you would like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section and also let me know of methods that you use to effortlessly improve your life. What is it that you implement or that you started implementing to really change your life or what changed your life in the past? Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you next time.